hello everyone welcome back to another playthrough of near automata um okay so a couple things happening y'all we um have one side quest that i'm curious about this one that i don't know how to do so we're gonna see if we can do this actually uh let's see heritage of the past near how do i start it like how to use dynamic scanner let's see if i can find some information how to do it because like we should already have the, the dynamic scanner or like what i'm guessing what would happen is that um the things like the locations where they are will show up on the map but the only thing showing up on the map are the underground coliseum and the trial of sand which is you know fine and dandy and all but i'd like to do this one and um Yeah, 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 uh -huh. so, so you can start the quest anytime by finding a resistance researcher. Yep, I found him, and now we have the actual back. To progress this quest, you need to equip the scanner pod program in the menu. Scanner So, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Why am I a silly goof? And now let's make that the, um, smash it with the hammer. <laughs> Unleash a blast that sucks in enemies in the vicinity. Smash it with the hammer! Wire fires a wire in the direction that the pot is facing. If it hits a field, it launches a combat right, combat and right to the target for an up close assault. Bro, I didn't know this was a thing. You know what? I think I understand. I think I understand. So instead of doing this, that one stays like that. That's like it's constant. And now I do this. No, I'm still doing this. There it is. I don't hurt the moose. I'm sorry, moose. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to. So now we can take this and go to the desert. Got it. All right, so now let's take this and go to the desert. And then we just walk around, I guess, in the desert and scan for things. Man, I'm a moose gonna be pissed at me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shoot at you. It was an accident. All right, let's go to the camp. Mm, actually, we probably should go to the housing complex where we found the resistance member. I had no idea you had to equip them. I thought what it would what it would do is that it would because let me show you what I was thinking. Level 54, yeah, we're fine. We're gonna kill everything. This is what I was thinking, right? You have pod A and then pod C. So what I was thinking what was happening was each time you got one of these, that was a new pod. So you will have part E, part D, part pod B, whatever, and you just flip through them and be able to quit one, make one more um, uh, mandatory or main than the other ones. 
Um, so that's what I was think was happening. So I was, that's why I was so confused about why they weren't showing up. But turns out I was just a goof. And uh, they were there this entire time. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Change this to scanner, and you will be laser. So now my pod A. Both my Gatling and also my scanner. Perfect. Okay. So now. So you're saying that the first one isn't far from the desert center. So let's transport. Because, like, they're not showing up on the map. So it makes it sound like you literally just have to wander around the desert until you happen upon something. <laughs> Which I'm fine with. Because I can talk about the book I'm reading then. Okay. So, um, I'm reading a book that I got for my birthday. I, um, been really bad at keeping up with reading, but I finally got back into it. Same with piano, a lot of things. Um, so with the book, it's called The Last Minute Guest, right? <laughs> and you follow this dude, Edward, who believes, because his, um, sister and mother, unfortunately, both died um, within the past year, his mother was a little bit before his sister, and they claim that his sister offed herself, um, which he doesn't believe. But um, he and his sister, when the mother died, decided to start revamping a house of theirs that was on their property so that it can be used as a rental and they can rent it out to people as like a air and airbnb type thing um and so he rents out the place to a dude named Jax. And he seems relatively nice, you know. He, on like his first night, Jack's first night being there, he invites Edward over. Um, he lets his friend eat over, Edward's friend eat over. And he just seems to be like, a, we're getting close. But, um, yeah, he seemed like a cool dude. But then, oddly enough, he has seen Jax consistently have a girl over, a woman over at his apartment. I mean, at the house he's staying in. Again, which was odd to him already. Oh. Yay! Material obtained. Hypothesis. Um, he has a woman over. I'm gonna let it finish actually. 
and the woman comes in a car. Edward does not see the woman walk out ever again from the house. And Jax is, for whatever reason, is the one seen driving the woman's car away. And then the car is never seen again. And there was one particular night where he did this, where he was holding and carrying a duffel bag that looked really heavy. He has done this, Jax, three times now. The most recent one being Edward's um, neighbor, who they're acquaintances with. They're acquaintances. And Blith, after having dinner with Jax, going to the guest house that Jax is staying in, um, and all that, she's never seen again. Well, at the very least, she's missing now. And it is the... Ooh, Phoenix Lance. That's not like a weapon of, um, near Automata. I mean, Gestalt. Let me look. Phoenix Lance, Phoenix Lance. I think that's a spear. There it is. Yeah, it's a weapon in near Automata. Yes, I remember that one. I mean, ugh, Gestalt. I remember that one. Good one, good one. But, um,. Yeah, so weird stuff. And with Blith, he did the exact same thing. She had dinner with him. And then the next day, he knows his Blith isn't there. And he sees Jax drive away with his car. So he's getting concerned, Edward. So he decides to sneak into the house while he's gone well like he goes into the house which he technically isn't supposed to do because he is Jax is currently renting it out so it is his private property in a way but it's still Edward's house so I don't know it's kind of weird um so he goes in there to look for evidence of where Blith might be and he finds her underwear in his bedroom so that's nothing crazy because you know they they're adults who do gross things, I guess. Um, the police find him because Jax has called the police on him on Edward because he didn't know who it was. At least that's what he claims. Because the whole idea is it looks like Jax might be setting Edward up. For whatever reason. Because he, Edward now has lost his job. Because for whatever, for some reason, his apple peeler that he brings with him to work for lunch was found um, near a cabinet that was broken into and drugs were stolen out of because he works in like a doctor's office, Edward. So he was fired because he people suspect he was stealing drugs. Um, so Edward's thinking because there was one day where Jax came to Edward's work and he was like, oh, I had to get my, check, my foot checked out. I had hurt my ankle. Um, so it made some sense, but he was like, he was looking for the restroom. And instead of looking for the restroom, he goes into the break room. In the break room is Edward's apple peeler. So Edward's thinking he went in there and took the, the apple peeler to try and set Jax up. But... The question is, why? Edward isn't a threat to Jax. And especially since Jax has just gotten into town, he has only been here 
for maybe max three weeks. So why is he trying to set Edward up? And I can't answer that because I have no idea. It's so weird. It is so weird. And then what was really messed up is that he kind of encouraged Edward to ask Blith, his neighbor, who has gone missing, out. Um, and, you know, he gained the courage to ask her out because he has general anxiety disorder. So it's really hard for him to do stuff like that. Ah, a stone tablet with laws written about it, upon it. That's definitely worth a reward. This isn't the only tablet of its kind that we found either. I think the nation that once existed here lived under an almost impossible number of rules. This is true. The more they expanded their civilization, the more rules they had to come up with. They ended up living their lives bound by rules. Seems like a waste of, so, seems like a waste if you ask me. If you find any more relics, make sure you bring them to me. Yay. Just keep looking. Um. So he goes out on the date with Bleth, his neighbor, Edward's neighbor, right? And it looks like it's going, at the very least, okay. You know, Jax, I mean, Edward isn't the best at this whole dating thing, but it's not going too terribly. And then Blith does a stupid. She asks, she comments on Edward's seemingly finally getting over the death of his mother and sister. Mind you, they only died a year ago. And he has general anxiety disorder. So he starts shutting down. Oh, it's a body. And he gets really upset and angry. And he's like, you don't need to pity me. Um, I don't need your pity, etc., etc. And then, guess what? She, Blith, has the goal to get an attitude. Like, okay, whatever, fine, I get it. And then, oh my gosh. He tries to pay for dinner, right, with his credit card. But his card bounces. It doesn't, it's declined. And he's like, what? I definitely didn't spend enough for it to be declined. Um... And I think it's connected to what happened earlier in the story. When Edward was at a men's clothing store, he was, oh, hello. He was looking for clothes and he just so happened to run into Matt, uh, Jax, while there. And when he's about to pay for the clothes, Edward, that he picked out, he's not able to find his wallet. And Jax had helped him find the clothes that he was going to buy. So he was looking for his wallet, couldn't find it. He's like, oh my gosh, everything's already much, already a problem because the lady already hates me because he's very indecisive and the lady who's checking him out was helping him and was already frustrated with him. Um. So he can't find his wallet, and I don't know where Jack's just like, "Oh shoot, is this it? It's over here," and he grabs his wallet from the floor. And then later that same day, his card is bounced. His card doesn't go through; it's declined. I think Jack did something to his card that was also in, in it being bounced. But again, the question is why? Why would Jax want to be messing with Edward? It is so weird. But I straight up don't like Bliss. After that whole <laughs> date that they had together, absolute mess.
I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to figure where else we should search. I guess you just keep searching the desert center. Um. What was I saying? I think I was saying how I didn't like Bliss. Cause like, honestly, think about it. And I was talking to myself after I read that part of the story where the date did not go well at all. And I was just like, ma'am, why on God's green beautiful holy earth would you ask a person you're acquaintance with about the death and possible suicide of their sister that happened a year ago on a first date <laughs> like what, what was going through your head ma'am what what made you think? Oh, this is the first date. We can ask him some traumatizing info. Sure, why not? Like, what? Huh? That's like going on a first date and just like, huh, I know this person was almost brutally murdered one time. Let me ask him about it. On my first date. Why not? Um, such a game. Like, what? I was, and then she had the nerve to get upset. Like, do I think maybe Edward may have gone too far? He was, he was very upset, which, you know, understandable. But did he maybe go a little too far and was almost on the assaulting side of the pillow? Maybe. But I know if I was in that situation, and I realized that I was the screw up and it was all my fault that he was now this upset. I can't, I couldn't have the nerve to get upset with him afterwards, after him being upset. No, that was all your fault, ma'am. You don't get the right to be upset after asking him about his dead family. Oh my gosh. Absolutely the worst. So that's the adventures of my reading of this book. It's good though. I like it. There's another one on on more like a red comic I'm reading called Mafia Nanny. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It is so good. The premise is that you have this woman who has been trained to be like a really good nanny, but she's like really good at fighting, can um kill people if she wanted to um because the organization she was trained by they provide services to people who might need nannies like that if you get my drift hence the name mafia nanny because she has to work with um a family where the person she has to take care of is the son of a underboss for the mafia. Oh, we're getting closer. Nice. It was just money. Um. So yeah, very good story. I am loving it. I um, I got because I was up one night after coming home from work, 
couldn't go to sleep. So I was like, eh, let me watch some chowder before I go to bed. Um, and then I saw that, could I get the notifications for when an update for my webcomics happens? Dang, son. Oh, gosh! Sheesh! <sighs> anyway. Um, and I got the notification that Mafia Nanny had updated. So I was like, okay. Let me... I just detonate it. Let me read this. Um, so I read it. And it was 18 chapters. And I binge read the heck out of it. Age material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. Cool. Let's um go back to now homeboy. Who I think is right here. Um but yeah, I binge read read it. It was so good. I was sitting there reading it just like, yo, this would be amazing as a show. Oh my gosh. Probably, if it's done correctly and done by the right people with the right voice acting and everything, it would be one of the best shows on this blasted planet. Oh my gosh. It's good as a rep comic. I can't imagine what it would be like as a show. Did you find something for me? Hmm. Looks like, looks like some kind of staff. That's pretty incredible. Let me pay for your help. This was like a tooth of some kind of ceremony. I imagine it belonged to the nation that used to exist in this region. If you find any more relics, make sure to bring them back to me. Okay, update. According to the client, there used to be a country and a desert where people live under impossible number of rules. Yes, this is true. So thus far, I think I've found three relics. I found the eight stick. Maybe I only found two. Okay. So I found the ace stick. So the other one is also near the center of um, this area of the white place. Um, but yeah, if that was a TV show, Mafia and Andy would be amazing. Absolutely spectacular. And I'd love every minute of it. And, and even though the underboss guy, he is a mafia underboss, but he cute. <laughs> They've drawn, drawn him well. He is a looker. And he's Italian? Come on, come on, that's why I learned Italian, man. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. So let's take a look see if we can actually just finish this side press. That's my hope. The reason I'm going around it like this is because supposedly Um, one of the relics are on the edge of that circle you follow.
Yeah, good times, good times. We well, yeah, I finally got back into piano. Oh, I um, I think I finally finished a piece I've been trying to compose for the last three something years. <laughs> I like the way it sounds. It has some complexity that I'm not used to, which is nice. Um, I think, I think I like it. It may not be the forever final product, but I think for now, I'm okay with it. So now all that's left for me, well, now my next step is to learn a piece I've been learning, I've been wanting to learn for years. This is a lot of pieces actually. Like one is the girl with the flaxen hair. Um, that's Debussy. There's some Undertale songs I've been wanting to learn. Um, things like that. So let's see. So I think we got the commandment slab. Let's see. Let's look at Intel app. Hmm. Oh no, I think one of these things was a mysterious lithograph. Okay, that complicates things. Oh, well, let's see. So the other one they say is between two large rock near this rectangular corner of the desert. Let's see. Oh, like here. Let's go over there. Um, but yeah, I need to work on my piano. Try to stay busy, work on my hobbies. Cause literally, quite literally, my only hobby now is the occasional baking, video games, watching movies, and like exercising. I've kind of lost track of my other hobbies like the piano the reading the rep comics all that stuff i just kind of especially on the weekend i kind of just just sit around just getting faster wait It was getting faster, but now it's not. There you go. Well, what was it, Tubi? I mean, Inez? You can't just... There it is. Material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. You know, we had another signal. I want to see if we can find that. I guess it was just that. Just 
fucking not speeding up anymore. Wait, well, we shall go back to homeboy. <coughs> Map mode. Goodness gracious, he's so far away. Why is he so deep in the desert anyway? But yeah, gotta get back into my hobbies so I'm not just sitting around playing video games, eating pizza, ice cream, and stuff like that all day. Though I will and can do that. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. I had um, spinach, Salisbury steak, one patty of Salisbury steak that I made, and some sweet potatoes. Oh, and a couple slices of cinnamon apples for breakfast slash lunch. That was 12 o'clock, it's not going on four. That's one thing I do like about the weekends, being able to not be hungry, because during the week I'm like, constantly starving i don't eat enough ever i feel like which isn't a good idea for someone who works as much works out as much as i do oh this is just lovely let me pay for it huh so it's some kind of mask judging by the design it was intended to be worn by a female according to legend the nation that used to be here was wiped out quite suddenly Apparently has something to do with the passing of a beloved king. Perhaps this mask belonged to a princess or the like. Find anything more, bring it to me. Hmm. So let's see. So let's see here. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's what I, that's where, that's, oops. That's where I've been. So they're seeing another one. Cause if this is where homeboy is. Saying another one is actually really close to him. Like in this area. but on the edge of this circle. I saw it speed up. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't eat much at all. Like when I do have my meals of the day. They're relatively large, like for lunch, like for dinner today. I'm, I'm probably gonna have like half pizza <laughs> with my spinach or whatever. I forgot when it was over, over here. Nice.
Mysterious Lithograph 3. They had, I mean, they should at least give you, I feel like, a general area of where these things should be. Not just, gotta search the entire desert, but good luck. Like, what? Do you realize how much that is? It's not like this place is small. Not by a long shot. This place is huge. Gathering of enemies. But I only eat like that, like a lot of big meals on the weekends, typically. Any other time? I want to say I eat too little. Maybe I eat Actually, no, I probably do technically eat too little. I think my typical calorie count for a day during the week, I think it's either, it's anywhere between 13 to 1700 calories, which is not much at all. I think technically I probably should be eating closer to 2100, 22. eat that much because I can't really afford it. Let's try and sit and eat that many calories. That's a, that's a decent amount of food. I mean, luckily, I have um, like pancakes. I always have eggs. Um, so like if I am like really, really hungry and I just don't, I can't eat my meals because I need them for my meals. I do have that I can use. Um, but as you can imagine, eating pancakes and eggs all the time isn't particularly the most healthy thing of your you can do. Which I am aware of. That's why I try to work out a decent amount. I wasn't able to work out a lot last week because I had to do my hair doing my hair is like a three four day endeavor now because <laughs> I have to take it out first one day then I have to wash it another day and then I have to actually do it another day so I have to basically not work out any of those days otherwise I won't have time to do my hair or my hair will get messed up because on the days I wash it, I just have it blow dried. And I don't want to sit there and exercise and get all sweaty when my hair was just clean a day ago. And then have to braid that the next day. That's gross. No. <laughs> Goodness gracious, where is this last thing? I can't remember what I found, to be honest with you. So we found the eight stick. And then there is what he calls the commandment slab. It's kind of just sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. 
but it does appear to be oh, let me get rid of that so it's like closer to the edge It gets really strong and then it goes away. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so it's somewhere on this line is what I'm thinking. This is a hard one. Are we still in the, oh no, we're outside the bubble now. So we need to go back. A little bit more. So somewhere within the outer edge of the white circle that they have on the map is the relic. Yeah, like this type of area. I think I have to... Um Yep, it came over here. I remember that. Okay, we may have already found it. I just don't remember. If we don't find it soon, then we go to the main game. I am getting real hungry. This is awful. <laughs> they should have done this better. I feel like. It's also very possible I've already found it. Oh, 
statue of a girl. Oh! That scared me. They're bandits. That scared me. They're bandit robots. That's different. The hostile machine life forms have been defeated. Analysis. Their garments were based on a subset of human culture. Human culture? Examples of said clothing can be found in motion pictures that humans <laughs> created for entertainment purposes. More specifically, they were from a genre known as westerns. Yep. They chronicled warfare in a certain region of the planet. Warfare as entertainment? What were humans thinking? Lovely question, my friend. This is a statue of a young woman. Hmm. The words on your wedding day are carved into it. Perhaps this is a representation of the bride. This reminds me of something I recently discovered in the course of my work. It appears that this area used to be known as the Facade. As the name suggests, the residents of Facade all wore masks as well as unusual clothes. They also spoke a language unique to their people. Anyway, listen to my ramble. Thanks again for your help. Please take this, okay? Spear of the Usurper. Finally! Yay. Now we can continue on with our lives and go do the main game. How long did that take? That probably took forever, didn't it? I bet it took me like an hour. Yep, almost an hour. That is crazy. Sorry it took so long, guys. All right, on to the main game. You know, I might wanna find, ah, yes, this is what I'm looking for, actually. It's like, I may not wanna run no more over there. That would take a very long time. Transport city. Near tower. Wait, nope, see, wait, what's that? Oh, you know what? I could probably. Warren's cave, it doesn't really matter. This is just it's in. It's close enough. Uh, I did say we want to do that side quest today, didn't I not? So there are dress. As Westerners. What a time. All right. Man, my hands are cold. I've been having my heater go on this entire time. Cause it's just so cold today. It's pretty nice to can float down. All right, let's see what fuzz is going on down here, y'all. Okay. Kind of saw that coming. Query. What is the code for a machine? 
Machine life form to provide. Hello, and thank you for choosing Catalyst System Services. Special authorization keys are required to access Catalyst subunits. We apologize for the inconvenience, but access is not permitted at this time. However, today we have a special gift for first time visitors to this tower. Which is. Yeah. We look forward to serving you again. The heck was that? A forced message from the enemy system. Said message relays the locations of objects known as resource recovery units. Now they're just messing with us. Resource recovery units. Okay, well, let's go do that then, I suppose. Hey, Pod, give me a rundown on what happened while I was resting. Affirmative. Relevant data concerns the massive facility you just accessed. It appears to be machine-related in origin, though further details are unknown. Additionally, the large structural units launched from the facility have been detected in multiple areas. Large structural units? Said units were marked as goals earlier. They are believed to be so-called resource recovery units. What do these units do? Unknown. Where's A2? Unit A2's position and current status are unknown. All right. Mark the positions of those units on my map, will you? Proposal. Unit 9S should state his intentions. Why do you care? Just do what I say. <laughs> You're a robot. Well, the pause is going to backstab me. Going to wipe out the machines. With the bunker destroyed, previous orders to Yorha units would be suspended. Proposal: Rendezvous with resistance forces and confirm chain of command. I don't care about chain. Honestly, of I'm doing I what I want. Now. I'm going to kill every last machine, and then don't I'm going to kill A2. Oh no! Don't hurt Pascal. Remember, they're fine. They're they're good people. All right, so he's on a quest to kill all the machines, cause that's smart. Yeah, sure. You're digging. Oh, jeez. There we go. Um, subjugate. Could it be Pascal and them ran away knowing that we destroyed them? Cause I'm looking, I'm listening to that robot, right? I like having this thing. So we're going to the forest. Or we're going to the forest kingdom. The forest kingdom. <laughs> this is YouTube channel. I call I was called shoot from the hip. Yeah, I know, honey. It's empty. Um. And, uh. The people are. <laughs> hey, buddy. They're comedians. Um, but they do improv comedy. So, what they do is they get a prompt from people and then they try to work with it and make a story 
So the prompt they got. Um, I think it was like the excited chinchilla. Where's my robot buddy? I guess he left me. There you go. Um, and what are the uh, people acting out the story? <laughs> he took a very interesting look at that statement. And it was hilarious. Resource unit. Is that one of our large units? Affirmative. Said unit appears to be delivering something to the giant Pacific. Huh? Fog? Analysis. The fog is actually steam emitted by a large enemy structural unit. Steam? For what purpose? Unknown. Hmm. Anyway, so he took a very interesting creative liberty on his take on, um, the excited chinchilla. And, uh, he decided to make the chinchilla a Nazi. <laughs> Saying how all oh, chinchilla are <laughs> Nazi. It's just a joke. It was very much a joke, but dang, was it hilarious. Uh, I don't think the Nazi chinchilla, chinchilla won. I'm pretty sure he was destroyed in the end, luckily. It was, um, twas something. Bruh, I'm not the problem. I'm not the one who did all this. You know, buddy, you were kind of useless. You need to do more. I don't see you acting like that when I'm on the other side. Hmm? We try to kill me. You nice and quick. You nice and swift. What's this, what's this garbage? <laughs> well, yeah, their comedy, their improv comedy skits will put it on funny. Pretty funny. All right. Keep on keeping on. Oh. All right. <coughs> Had a cough, sorry. Don't let them take anything else from us. Now, first of all, I didn't take anything. Cut them off. Oh, sheesh! I guess something was still electrified. That went to bed. So I suppose now I need to go through the castle. Oh, nope, ain't wrong. I'm not even supposed to be here. Where the fudge? Okay, wait a second, let me look at the map. So, I need to go. Not this way. 
I wonder what would happen if I went into the f place, though. <laughs> Me and the Forest Kingdom Castle. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't like the music of this world as much as I did the, um... Oh. Hello. This is the resource uh -oh. Now activate defense mode. It sounds so chipper about it. Just like, we're gonna kill you now! Yay! And please, please don't. Do I just... Is this writing? I can't read it. Analysis. Writing is an ancient language known as angelic. Angelic. It reads, meat box. Okay, then. I don't think I should go in there, then. Mm, I guess we are, though. Let's go into the meat box. Because, what, is it because humans ride, used to ride on things like this? Meat box. Is this entire building made of machines? Even on the inside? Analysis. Many useless parts unrelated to machine life form functionality detected. The reason for using said parts is unknown. There's no meaning to anything they do. Yeah, like, what's the point of that? <laughs> this looks like a boss fight place that I haven't seen one. Level up. Hmm. I think I have a cough based on mess up my throat. I mean, talking. I'm talking a lot. Left without all this stuff. Got me some goodies. Speaking of goodies, I made myself again a chocolate cake with Oreos on top. I didn't do the Reese's one because I don't really like that version as much. I like the Reese's more. I mean, what's it called? Oreos. The Oreo ones more. Um, because what happened last time is that like the cookie got soft while on the cake. I think it absorbed some of the moisture from the cake. Um, and it was phenomenal. And that was some ice cream, bruh. It was so good. I'm gonna eat that today. I might end up eating far too much cake today. Can I actually do really, like to a point I like cake, but don't like cake at the same time. Like, I think I enjoy chocolate cake because you can just get it so moist and tasty and rich but technically i shouldn't be eating it vanilla cake can be good if done right 
Like, I really enjoy a good vanilla cake. The really good frosting, I just have it in my head, this particular birthday cake my father bought from the store randomly one day. And it was pretty darn good. Something about certain flavors of vanilla cakes are just like, mwah, top tier. Uh-oh. Is it possible that the robots here are doing this not by their own will, but something is controlling them? Machines can't feel pain. Again. I don't know. I'm so confused by 9S, 2B being like, they're just machines. They can't feel the yada, yada. I'm just like, but you guys are machines. Like, you guys are androids, aka human like robots. So, like, you guys really aren't much different. I don't know. I just feel like... Oh gosh. I just feel like they're acting like they're so much better than the machines when in reality, are you guys not just a slightly bit more complex machine? <laughs> so what do you mean? <laughs> you guys are kind of the same. Only the machines don't seem to look down upon you guys. Oh wait, am I going in the right direction? I think so. I don't know, man. Hopefully they explain that, because I don't understand. I don't. I'm ready, I'm ready. Whoa! Oh, that's a big one. So I think I spoke too soon. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, right on time. And they think I killed, it was A2. Were you guys not there? I did not kill your king. I understand that. And you know what, as soon as we fix all this, I am out of here. Not gonna come back ever again. Y'all can have it for us. Oh, shoot! Shut up! 
he's he's losing it. Continuing on. Oh my gosh, I can't save her. Yeah. I'm gonna check my show recording's working. Check the matter. Uh, yep, everything's going good. <coughs> I meant to mute and then cough, but I cough muted. I'm sorry, guys. Machine parts. Speculation. Perhaps these are raw materials from the structure itself. Possibly useful for creating weapons. Weapons, eh? Okay, well, I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Prepare energy. Close range firing mode. Maximum output. 9S. Fire. I think something is controlling the robots. Fortress. Forest access key number one. Or one. Yeah, there's something wrong with them. I honestly think there's something wrong with them. And that they don't want to be doing this. <clears throat> Pod 153. Select unit to monitor. We followed... A2. I mean, 9 9S. We could go to A2 now, figure out what she's going through. I kind of want to stay on 9S's track, though. I suppose in our next playthrough, we can go the A2 route. Hmm. Or I can stop there and let you guys vote, and y'all can pick which one y'all want. I think I'll do that actually. So um, I'm gonna do a poll once I post this video, and then you guys. Oh, that means I can't play video games for. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I can't do a recording of near for a little bit then. Oh man, what else am I gonna do today? Hmm. That's all I do. I do recordings and then mm. I'll see if I can find something else to play. Okay. Um, yeah, I will do a poll, figure out which one. Ooh, I can't even leave. Oh, wait, too late. We're doing on us. 
9S has destroyed the core of resource recovery unit. He has obtained an authorization key in the process, but I am concerned about his worsening psychological state. Care should be taken to prevent 9S from coming into contact with Unit A2. Affirmative. That's pod 42. Likewise, this pod will take care to see that Unit A2 avoids contact with Unit 9S. So, I think we picked 9S. I can't remember. I, I was trying to see if I could pause the game or something, but I guess the game had a mind of its own. Alert. Abnormality detected in vitals of Unit 9S. What? Proposal. Commence data overhaul immediately. Pod, search for the other structural units. I need to find those authorization keys and destroy the tower. Alert. Combat inadvisable during abnormal vital conditions. It's fine. Run the search. Scanning. Actively operating enemy large structural unit detected in accessible location. Marking location on map. He straight up just like, shut the fudge up. Do what I say. <laughs> we got mail. You got the mail. Let's go over here. Let's close, let's close this access point. Yeah, 9S is going a little haywire. Which again, if the other robots can do that, I mean... I don't know. I guess they don't view themselves as robots. But like, what else would you guys be, y'all? Gotta go through these things again. I really should stop and get my food and not help. <laughs> ah. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I definitely need to eat a lot of food. Alright. Let's, um... Let's see. How long we plan? Yeah, we can go a little longer. Alright. We are going to transport now to where the story continues. We spent a lot of time on that side quest, so... Let's see where it is. Mm. I didn't notice these. Let's go grab those. Um, let's go to the resistance camp. This game starting to feel a little bit more like the near I'm used to, like near Gestalt. Because in near Gestalt, what you had to do was go to, I think, four different areas in the world, defeat a, a, a boss to get a part of a key. That, or like a map, and it told you where Yona was being held. All right, we got a quest. Are you looking for something? Ma'am, no. Say, think you'd be able to give us a hand with a certain odd job? Devil, please. Well, what else can we do? Ever since that huge A tower showed up, we've been shorting people in supplies. If we keep getting distracted by the little things, we'll never get those resistance members repaired. That's true, but... So there you have it. Anyway, mind lending us a hand? Sure. Great, much appreciated. Okay, so all we need are some strip screws, small gears, and machine oil. You can get stripped screws from machines that look like they've been stacked on top of each other. I think you can get small gears from the small machines with the short legs. You should be able to find some machine oil near a deserted truck at the abandoned factory. Please don't put yourself in danger for this, all right? Okay, that's everything the twins ask for. Success! <laughs> Let's see. Yep, that's everything. Thanks for the help. Then it's time for us to get to work, Devola. Uh, what are you using that stuff for anyway? 
isn't it obvious? Daily necessities. We're often asked to handle various odd jobs around the camp. Odd jobs? With all of your technical skill? Oh, it's no bother. We're happy to help however we can. Frankly, we're thankful to just have a job of any kind. Anyway, enough gabbing. Here's your reward. Oh, I couldn't possibly take this much. Just take it already. It's not like we have anything to spend it on. Go on, you earned it. Maybe you agreed to help us again later? Oh, sheesh. Dang, son. Oh, uh, another cross. Hello again. I'd love to sit here and chat, but we need to head out and take care of the job. Things are getting a little crazy around here at the moment. And to get these materials post haste and. Hey, sis. Just. Hey, sis. Just ask already. You want me to go get the materials for you? Oh, we couldn't possibly ask. I'll, I'll do it. It's fine, guys. <laughs> Thanks. This is a huge help. Devil, we can't keep asking people to. Yes, we can, sis. Let's just be grateful for the help. Anyway, I just need you to track down some desert roses. It's a pretty rare plant, but I saw by searching around the old ruins in the desert. Sorry to put you through this, and please be careful. Some of the desert enemies are quite strong. But I am stronger! <laughs> I got it. It's fine. Interesting. And I think there was another quest around here. What could that be? Oh, wait. Yeah, this is around here. What can I help you with? Hey again. I haven't seen you for a while. So, this is probably a con. It's no surprise. But I have more practice. I need to come out of storage. Don't suppose you land a hand again? <sighs> Fine. What, really? Thanks so much. A supervisor is a real hard eye. So, if this doesn't get done, I'm a dead man. Just grab all the stuff I need and get it out of there, okay? Think you can get the goods for me? Fine. Great, thanks a million. <sighs> Honey, you need to keep your things organized. This is ridiculous. Marking objects likely to be the targeted packages. Ready? He can push it, but you can't pull it. Does that make sense to you guys? It don't to me. Should be everything. There you go. Yes. Hey, I found your stuff, bud. Hey, honey. You got the packages together for me? Oh, thank you. That storage area is in pretty sh sad shape. A supervisor came in earlier and really wrecked the place. Seems like I'm always having to clean up after her. 
Anyway, here's your payment. Thanks again. Rada, 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 rada. Stop doing that. <laughs> Alright. Fun times. Alright. Let's see. Let me save. And let me look at how much money I got. Because I might do some upgrades. Money, money, money. Oh, nice. We up there. Yeah, we can do some upgrades. Uh, yes, we do. Let's see. We can't upgrade a pod, but we can fuse some things together. Um, let's do... We have a lot of threes. Let's do that one more time. Okay, hopefully that reduces the amount of chips you got in us. Let's do the critical up. Let's do range four. Shock wave, let's see. Strengthen remote controls enemies. Search circular foe causing a fire for 4.5 seconds. I like it. I can buy blade, spear, or shield. And then we can buy... Oh, we can increase our chip storage. That'd be basically all our money, though. Let's do a chip stories of plus 10. I mean, 8. Thanks. And then, let's see how we're doing. Thanks. They sell, they sell chips. Um, I don't really want to get a sword, at least not with the money I have right now. Mm, we can upgrade our sword. I think that'd be a good upgrade to do. Oh, wow. I think this would be a smart upgrade to do. And then we leave it there. Thanks. And now let's look at the weapons that we got. Like, how does this compare to, say... So that would be an upgrade. So let's look at the weapon set. Oh, wait. that Oh, that's my large sword. Oh, oh wow. Beast Lord something else. Let's uh, equip that one. We can look at the story of it. Okay, let's see. Once upon a time, there were three princesses. The eldest princess was thought by all to be the most brilliant woman in the kingdom. And she soon sat the throne of her homeland as their queen. The new queen weighs a mighty army. To afford the endeavor, she taxed her people. And in turn, they were given jobs in new factories, creating the... Created, created to support the war effort. P 
people worked, money flowed. As the army grew stronger, the demand for factories grew with it, and then the cycle repeated. More work, more money, more work, more money. The queen's plan proceeded just as she had envisioned it. Hmm. Phoenix Sword. One day, a hawk lost its way in the woods. Its proud wings once grew weak as it tried in vain to find its way home. As death approached, a songbird took pity on the hawk and did its best to offer aid. The songbird slowly nursed the hawk back to health. The beautiful sight of the small white bird nestled in the elegant wings of the hawk soon made it the envy of all the creatures in the forest. The great sword uh, was known for the intense pain it inflicted upon its enemies. This is what drove the man to carry it despite its weight, for he knew it would make others fear him, and thus could he avoid needless conflict. First encounter with my lover, failed to connect with my lover, far went my lover. Far away went my lover. I'll never forget the time we met. I know ours was a love that would last for eternity. But even when by his side, his feelings were a mystery. It was painful to know, to not know what he was thinking. So painful. Human fight. Why? This is interesting. Legend tells of a mighty warrior who had no equal in battle. Granted immortality by Phoenix, he wandered from war to war, forever searching for ways to prove his strength. Once upon a time, there was three princes. The youngest princess was widely regarded as the ugliest woman in all the land, but her heart was gentle, honest, and pure. I had a dream. A dream about the day we met. He was small, he was insignificant, he was weak, yet he hated the world just as I did. Dragoon Lance. In a distant kingdom, there lived two princes. The son of the queen consort was clever of mind but weak of flesh. The son of the king's second wife was dim witted yet charming and quite gifted in the art of war. These are interesting. Hi guys, it's me, 42S, your favorite Yorha squadron idol from North 12C Defense HQ. I'm here with the latest hot scoops from the front line, so let's get out there and do our best, all right? Go team! Hey ho, Battlefield Buddies! I'm not gonna lie here, the current war situation, situation isn't looking too optimistic. But we're expecting reinforcements from our orbiting satellite bases any moment, so don't give up yet. Glory to mankind. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, whose parents he had killed years earlier. She slipped it under the bed they shared, then later used it to run him through 30 times. The Spear's second owner was a courageous bandit fighting mare. In her later years, her strength faded until one night a pack of young thugs surrounded her and took all that she had, including her life. My name is Play Doh 1728. I am a failure of a machine. I was designed for combat, but I can't use weapons. Everyone makes fun of me, and my life is horrible. And these don't have, oh, this has a story. Once there was a gentle angel who came to earth to provide salvation for those in need. While there was curling illnesses, offering, or curing illnesses, offering blessings, or cheering the sad, he was always there when needed. System Yurha unit data uploaded. Check out HC. Close IO duplicate core. Find Yurha unit. I 
I see you in my sleep, restless sleep. My heart flies to pieces each time I wake. I burn to see you in the real world. I think we read them all. Oh, we didn't read small, so I just realized. Beast Bane. Once upon a time, there were three princesses. The middle princess wasn't very bright, but was renowned by all as a great beauty. Once she came of age, she was married off to the king of a neighboring nation. The neighboring king adored his new wife treasured and treasured her looks above all else. He gave the middle princess six new dresses and eight fresh flowers every day, and his love caused her beauty to shine all the more. Just check and make sure the recording's working. <coughs> sorry, I meant to mute on time, and I didn't. I'm bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Phoenix dag Dagger. The girl lay there on the bed of her wedding her parents and beloved were dead. She herself had been violated in front of their corpses. As she swore to kill those who had done this terrible deed, a shining songbird appeared. Allow me to grant your wish, said the bird. Wish upon this dagger and never forget this hatred that you feel. The girl grasped the weapon and spat out a tearful curse. I vow not to forget, please. Give them a painful death. Mood. I feel that. Ancient Overlord. One day, a young girl's village was sacked by bandits. To protect her family, she took out a dagger. She took up a dagger her father had found in the mountains and killed one of them, an act that shocked her family. But the bandits fled, never to return. And... Oh, wait a second. How long can I fight amidst this bloody vortex of a bloody battlefield? How long, I wonder? How long can I continue to protect what I love amidst this endless war? How long, I wonder? How long can I continue to believe in a world laden with deceit and folly? How long, I wonder? Cruel oath. Once long ago, there was a group of seven boys who were born in the same village. Though they were not brothers by blood, they treated each other as family. One cold night, a fortune teller appeared and warmed of a traitor among them. The boys laughed it off and went about their business. But the next morning, one of them lay dead. With each passing night, another boy died. The survivors grew more and more suspicious of each other, each harboring terrible doubts about what happened to their brothers. Machine Sword. The more old records I read, the more fascinated I become by the species known as humans. We machines must do all we can to preserve these precious artifacts and continue to record their contents. I see from these records how important predation and re reproduction were to human survival. And yet, they viewed such acts as sinful. I wonder why. And Cypress Stick. I was in a dead sleep when Mom started shouting, Wakey, wakey, she squawked. Rise and shine. Today is a very important day. Today is your first visit to the castle. Annoying, right? But I got up anyway. Interesting. Very interesting. I definitely want to finish getting all these weapons and stuff then. I want to see how the stories end. Any sweezies. Um, I think that's where we're going to stop. I say this playthrough was a relative success. We um, got the first key. Um, we read up on the different weapons that we have. I didn't know they had backstories. So that was very interesting. Um, and we did the Heritage of the Past side quest. So I think when we come back, we're going to start with um, side quests. Um, specifically, Popola's Errand side quest. So we're going to go out into the desert, find those. And then we're probably going to go to the Trial of Sand and see if we can do those. Um, yeah. So look forward to that. So... Thank you for watching. I appreciate the viewership, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.